Good Easter Sunday morning, everyone. Happy Easter to each and every one of you out there today. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. My name is Minister Tremaine, and I will be bringing forth the Easter message on this morning. This is the day that Jesus has rose. The day that Jesus came to set his, to, to set us free. Amen. This is the day that we remember when Jesus died upon the cross and his blood was dripping down the cross. Amen. And did you know that one drop of blood that came off that off the cross was the blood that Jesus shed just for you and me. Amen. And uh, he did it just for you and I. Yes, he did. And you know, I'm just thankful that God has kept me for a long time. I'm blessed to be alive and well. Amen. Amen, I tell you. Uh, if it had not been for Jesus that died up on the cross, I wouldn't be alive to see 36 years of age today. Amen. It's all because Jesus died upon the cross for you and I. Amen. I know it was the blood. Yes, I know it was the blood for me. Amen. Uh, so this year, uh, this year's Easter message is I am forgiven. I am forgiven. Did you know that God's reckless love for me leaves the 99 and forgives me for all my sins. God still loves me. He still appreciates me. And he still, still loves me. There is no mountain, no wall he won't climb up coming after me. Amen. There's no barrier or obstruction. No, no tower he won't have to climb up coming after me. Amen. It is his reckless love that he had for me. Because God is a forgiving God. He so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That way we shall not perish. That way we shall live everlasting life. Amen. In the book of Psalms, uh, it says the Psalms of the uh, David, most likely the Psalms, uh, <clears throat> uh, was written after David committed adultery with uh, Bathsheba and had Uriah killed. The guilt of sin can be overwhelming. Although God does not want his children to be trapped by guilt. Amen. There's so many of us feeling guilty about what had happened in the past, what we did in the past. Amen. Oh, if I could go back and fix this, maybe I wouldn't feel so guilty. Oh, man, maybe if uh, I had met this person before they died, or maybe if I would have had to did this in my relationship, amen, uh, maybe my relationship would have still lasted. You know, God wants us to forgive, forget, and move on about that. Amen? Because it's not our fault what happened in the past. Amen? Some things are just not our fault what happened in the past. And God does not want us feeling guilty because God wants us to be set free. He wants us to live in abundance and in peace and enjoy our lives. See, although God does not want his children to be trapped by guilt, he wants us to realize the severity and consequences of sin and repent. Amen. When we sin, we're supposed to repent and ask for forgiveness. And did you know that when God forgives you, he forgets all of your sins? See, some of us think God is angry at me. God doesn't love me no more. Amen. That is not true. Forget what you heard. I don't care what people say about uh, God and and he hates you for sinning. Oh, man, God won't accept me no more and all that stuff. Forget all that what you heard. <sighs> Just know that God is a forgiving God. He doesn't want us to be trapped by guilt. Amen. Though we will feel convicted in our sins, 
and our lives cause us either resentment towards God or repentance. Some of us have a hard heart and want to resent God. Amen. And 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 uh and uh, uh not walk in forgiveness, amen, and feel that God won't forgive us. I'm here today to tell you on this Easter Sunday morning that God that this psalm shows us that God uh, does when he go to him and ask for forgiveness. He will forgive us. He will give us mercy. Amen. Mercy is not getting what you deserve. You see, David was exhausted from grief, guilt, and worry. But even worse, he was afraid that God would not forgive him. Amen. See, we're walking around in fear. We're walking around worried about, oh, what's going to happen to me if, if, if uh, God finds out this or this person finds out that. Amen. It's not about what that person thinks. It's about your heart. Amen. It's about your heart and, and, and where your heart is at. Amen. Because God looks upon your heart. And we must know that we are forgiven no matter what our sin is. I don't care what you have done in the past. You are forgiven. Amen. And sometimes when uh, we ask for forgiveness, amen, God will he'll forgive you. Yes, he will of all your sins. And when we become clean again and purged with hyssop and whiter than snow, there will come a time where God will end up removing certain people out of your life. Amen. Because those people will cause you to backslide and, and fall into sin. Amen. And we shouldn't be falling into sin. Amen. Sin is of the devil and God hates sin. Amen. So if you're caught up in sin today, just know that you are already forgiven. All you got to do is come and repent, get on your knees and pray to God and say, God, forgive me, O Lord, of my sins. And God will forgive you of every sin. Amen. You know that song, Reckless Loves, where uh, there's a part in the song where <clears throat> it says he uh, uh, leaves the 99. Amen. I know I don't deserve it, but he still gives himself away. Amen. I, I like that song, Reckless Love. It's such a great song to hear. Amen. You see, uh, uh, David did not want God to give him what he deserved, which was eternal death. God heard David's cry and showed mercy upon him. They, God has showed us mercy by not sending us all to hell. Amen. God has mercy upon us even when we're living in our darkest moments. God still has mercy upon us. Amen. God still reaches his hand out to you. Amen. Because our God is a forgiving God no matter what our current situation is. He is a forgiving God. Amen. So don't ever feel as God hates you. God doesn't love you because he does love you. Just as Christ so loved the world. Amen. Christ uh, because God loved this world so much. Don't you realize that God loved you no matter what you did? Amen. He don't even care if you uh, 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 killed somebody. Amen. Or, tr or tried to kill them. Amen. God still loved you. And he still had his mercy upon you. And God still loved the world so much where he gave his only son that died upon the cross just for you and I. Amen. You know, uh, always remember that we're not enough. One drop of the blood is enough. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh-huh. <clears throat> and it reads, uh, God heard David's cry. God hears your cry. Amen. All you got to do is cry out to him. You see, God showed us mercy by not sending everyone out off to hell. 
Amen. See, the wages of sin is eternal death. That's what we deserve, right? But God gave us a way to escape the torment of hell. And that is God's grace and his mercy. And that is, and that is his only begotten son. Hallelujah. That died up on the cross. <laughs> I, 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 that song is in my head. I know it was the blood. My, okay, let me shut up. <laughs> I know it was the blood. Okay, let me finish. <laughs> Amen. But it was the blood of Jesus, hallelujah, that kept us from going to hell. Amen. That kept us from going down under and suffering eternal death. And instead of eternal death, God has given us eternal life. Amen. Amen. Oh, man, I'm getting all fired up already this, this, this Sunday morning. You see, God gives us grace, and grace is giving something you do not deserve. Oh, he leaves the other 99. I don't deserve it. Uh, uh, and he gives himself away. Ooh, I love that song. There's no mountain he won't climb up. Wall he won't kick down, coming after me. Oh no, uh, I am here whenever, whenever God is ready, whenever God wants me. Amen. I am here. Amen. See, David asked God for deliverance from his enemies, and David asked God to save him from his enemies. God did deliver and save David from his enemies. Amen. See, we're all facing enemies out there. Uh, folks that don't like us, folks that hate you, amen, folks that act like they're your friend, and uh, folks that, that don't appreciate everything you do, with you know what I'm saying? And then they want to try to try to get you. They want to try to hook you. They want to try to lure you off in sin and everything. And then the next thing you know, you're caught off in their, their uh, uh, world of sin and caught off into their, into their thing. Amen. And as a saint of God, we can't let the devil offset us and cause us to, to be caught off in sin. Amen. Because sin will, will cause you, you know, the word says a soul that sinneth shall die. Amen. So this spirit, I mean, uh, this uh, flesh, I mean, that sinneth, this flesh shall die. Amen. And and we should, we should let this flesh starve. And, and and feed the spirit because the we want this we want to walk in the spirit, amen. Those that walk in the spirit does the things of the spirit, and we gotta walk in the spirit, amen. And uh, and ask God to deliver you from your enemies, amen. See some people that are your friend that are smiling in your face and and all that kind of stuff, amen. And then. When you, when, you, when you turn your back, here they are cutting up and talking about you. They're not your friends. Amen. You got somebody, a friend that you talk to online, but you never meet in person, or you talk to somebody, and you want to try to video call them, and then they ne they're never available. They ain't your friends. The best friend you could ever have is in Christ. Amen. Amen. Well, I just thank the Lord on today for this beautiful message. I hope I was able to touch somebody's heart today on this beautiful Easter Sunday. And I, and I hope that uh, I was able to inspire somebody on today. Amen. Well, just know that you are forgiven in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's have a word of prayer. And I also invite you. Uh, if you if you if you if you were to leave this earth today, would you get saved? Would you dedicate your heart to Christ? Amen. And I invite you to to uh, accept uh, Jesus, accept God uh, as your Lord and Savior in your life on today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You may have uh, been a good person in the past, but then all of a sudden the devil slipped a drug in there that caused you to turn away from God. 
Hallelujah. You are still forgiven. Even if you turned away from God, you are forgiven. Hallelujah. If you've fallen off in a deep end and went into the wrong relationship, hallelujah, you are forgiven. Amen. I don't care what you've done. I don't care what you've done. Whatever you've done. God caught off in the flesh. Amen. Amen. You are forgiven. Just know that you are forgiven. Hallelujah. All right. Let's have a word of prayer this morning. Dear Lord, I just want to thank you for what you have done in my life, Lord. And Lord, I want to thank you for giving your only son, Lord, that died on the cross just for me, Lord. Lord, you didn't have to do it. But it was your reckless love, Lord. And because of that love, Lord, I am here today standing. I get to see the breath, another breath of life today, Lord. All because of you. Amen. Dear Lord, I ask that you forgive me of my sins. I repent right now, Lord. For anything that I've done wrong that is outside of your will, Lord. And I pray right now, Lord, that you bless me, Lord, to keep my path straight, Lord, and keep my feet from slipping, Lord. Lord, I pray that you order my footsteps, Lord, and keep my path straight with you, Lord. And Lord, I pray for those out there that need you, Lord, more than anything, Lord. I pray for the lost, Lord. I pray for the, the, the sick, Lord, the, the, the saved, Lord, the ones who just don't know where they want to be in life. I pray, Lord, that you touch their hearts and bring them to you and let them know, Lord, that they are forgiven, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Well, I'm glad I was able to touch somebody's heart on today with this message. And I hope each and every one of you has a blessed and prosperous Easter Sunday. And remember, it was the blood that was shed over me is where I'm at today. Amen. God bless you.